Hey guys, my name is Brandon Garcia from Apex Marine, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2024 Pursuit S328. This boat is powered by the Twin 300 Yamahas, very reliable power package, and today we're going to see why this is one of Pursuit's most popular models. Starting off in the transom of the boat, we can see the Twin 300 Yamahas, and those are flanked by the Pursuit Signature transom extensions, which make boarding a little bit easier, and you're a little bit pushed away further from the props. This power package definitely complements the boat nicely. You can see we have five transom rod holders and then of course the live well here in the transom. Standard stainless pop-up cleats, more rod holders, and then you have these bases for the manual aft shade which can cover the entire cockpit. You have a transom boarding door held in place with a magnet so it stays open. And then in the port side of the cockpit, you do have a side boarding door. And there's a ladder that would clip right in there. Cup holders in the gunnels, and then more rod holders moving forward. You do have fold-out seating, which I will demonstrate for you guys. Definitely transforms this cockpit space into more of an entertainment space versus a fishing space. Then you do have these two bases here, which are for aft cockpit tables. And those are located here in the gunnels on either side of the helm. These tables can also be used in the front of the boat. Here are the two poles for the aft cockpit shade. Fire extinguisher located there below the gunnel. A sink here. A little ice chest here and another one there in the center. Before we move up to the helm, let's take a look at the hard top. This boat does have the upgraded stereo package which gives you the M-Series JL Audio speakers. You have hard top lights and then six rod holders across the back. So now let's take a look at the helm. More stainless pop-up cleats, twin 16-inch Garmin displays, which is new for the 2024 model year. You have your Yamaha joystick control, Lenko trim tabs, ACR spotlight on this one. Here's your switches on either side of the wheel. Bow thruster here, Garmin VHF remote. Here's your Yamaha Home Master Rinnacle. Ignition, start stop, emergency cutoff switch, and then this is going to be your autopilot control. Fully integrated with the garments, so it's a really nice system and it communicates really well. Up here, you do have a windshield vent that you can open or close. Nice to let in fresh air. More JL Audio speakers located up there. And then you do have your JL Audio head unit located right here and this will communicate with the Garmin so there's no need to actually reach up there if you don't want to. Cup holders integrated into the console and then here you'll see the helm seats you have an individual captain's chair with fold up bolster fold down armrest and a double wide passenger seat also with armrests. More cup holders located here and then in the side of the leaning post we do have a refrigerator. 12 volt. Access into mechanical space located under this floor here. And then accented by the Edson steering wheel here at the helm. Let's take a look down into the cabin. So Pursuit does a pretty unique layout down here. As you can see in this configuration, you do have a day berth. Those are going to be your filler cushions for the forward seating that we'll take a look at shortly. There's still some stuff in here from delivery. So you do have an electrical cable there, an adapter, and then the shades. Rod storage located right there. And then in the port corner, you do have quarrying countertop with a glass bowl sink, toilet paper holder, and then located under here is going to be your head. And then you'll see how you can create more space in here. 
so that will fold up and this will slide out of the way and lock into there here's your panel here you have some breakers high water alarm switches and then 110 outlet when you're connected to short power moving back up and we'll go check out the front of the boat jl audio subwoofer so up in this area you do have these fold-out armrests that are electric so you can have forward facing seating up here here's the double wide console seat you have armrests here And then these are the two bases here that I was talking about. So those aft cockpit tables can actually become forward cockpit tables. And then if you notice here in the lip, those are where your filler cushions will go. So you can create more of a day berth up here. There's also a forward shade. And that would go into these bases here. Stainless pop-up cleats. Stainless windless anchor system on this boat and then you do have fresh and salt water washed out located here and a nice stainless cleat to tie off when you're at anchor this is where the bases for the table are stored you'll use the shorter one when you want to use the filler cushion and then the longer ones when you want to use it as a table And then what I feel that really separates this boat is the upgraded white upholstery package. Very clean and just creates a more modern look. That concludes the walkthrough of this Pursuit S328. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Or as always, my contact will be in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.